Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I got a request to test the new uh, A Shampoo anti malware, and I went and downloaded the newest version I could find on their website and um, installed it, did an update. I left everything just like it comes uh, stock. The uh, interesting thing is, I did a little research on it, and um, it, as you can see, it has an anti spyware engine and an anti virus engine. From what I could find, it's using the A squared slash Icarus anti spyware engine and it's using the Avira antivirus engine. So it should be pretty good at uh, detecting very well known uh, malware. The interesting thing is, um, I hope it has something for zero day. I don't see. I couldn't find anything about a behavior blocker. Uh, it does come with a ton of tools. Um, has a rootkit detector. Uh, we'll run that after. And it does have something. Um, where was it? Um, report infections whose behavior resembles that of infected code. I would imagine this is some kind of behavior blocker, but it doesn't come. Um, checked so I'm gonna leave it unchecked so got the install done um, it does use a lot of RAM it doesn't slow down the system though but it's just heavy on the RAM usage I have a feeling this is because this is the old engine from um, um, from a squared it used a lot of RAM it uses 132 megs of RAM as you can see so I have a feeling that's why it's using it so hopefully they'll update it to the new engine that uh, works a lot better so I got some links here fairly fresh uh, at least last 24 hours but it definitely isn't a drag on the system the only thing is during my research about a shampoo is that they don't um, up they don't keep their products up to date like they should uh, at least that's what I could find instead of updating new versions and fixing problems they kinda sometimes forget about them okay so found that one that's uh, the IK you can see that's the Icarus engine as you can see it doesn't have a web guard or anything once again that's the Icarus engine Okay, nothing came up on that one. Okay, here we go. So it does have a little bit of a behavior blocker. As you can see, an application is trying to create or modify an auto start entry. Um, so we will remember and block that. So apparently it does have some kind of... Uh, I think I already just... I think I did that one. Uh, no. So it, I, it does look like I have some kind of behavior blocker running. Okay, that was blocked. Once again, the Icarus engine. Okay, we'll let that one download. It uh, from I remember that's some kind of rogue. Okay, and that was blocked. It's good. So far it's doing really good. Other than that one that got past it, we'll see what it is. But it looked like, well it didn't get past it per se because the behavior blocker came into effect. Okay, so I'm through my 10 links. I'm just going to wait for this one to finish downloading. Oh, there it is. It's done downloading. I think, if I remember right, this is some kind of rogue. I'm not sure, though. I haven't done any research on it. I found the link. 
for it. Let's see what it looks like here, and then we can tell what it is. PC Clear. Never heard of it before. PC Clear Plus. So I'm going to let this thing do whatever it's doing, and let me do a little research. Okay, here we go. It did find that as a, uh, it's a suspect Trojan, so it is something. Okay, so I was right, it is a rogue Trojan thing. I don't know. We'll close out that program, and what I'm going to do now is, uh, that's the one thing I did notice. Double clicking on the icon down here doesn't open up the main program. You have to right click and open. That's just a little something that the programmers have to fix. So uh, let me check out this uh, check for rootkits thing. I want to see how that works. I haven't done a scan yet with that. So, oh, okay. I, I see what it's doing. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, so we will scan the entire system, and I'll be back when the scan is done. One quick thing here. I went and got three more links that I know are malware, and they're very low detection rates. I want to see if it can block these, too. Okay, it looks like I got that one. I want to see if I can get one that isn't blocked by signatures. And I want to see that behavior blocker really work. Okay, looks like that one's doing something. Definitely something happening here. So we'll see. Okay, now I'll do that uh, full scan. Okay, I want to show you guys that the system really is infected here. Um, the scan is taking for a while. It's using a lot of uh, CPU thing uh, processing. And I'm getting some pop-ups here and some errors. I'm going to go and try to kill some of these um, processes that are taking up. See, bot, exe, they're all taking uh, power from the CPU. So I'm going to kill these and I'm going to come back when the scan is done. Okay, so I'm back now. Um, you can see it finished scanning and it just found some temporary init files. So we'll remove all of them. And uh, what I'm going to do right now, as you can see, we still got an infection going on. I'm going to restart, and I'm going to install Malwarebytes, update it, and uh, run a scan. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, you can definitely see the system is really infected. It's found 78 pieces of malware. Uh, most of them are related to PC clear we have but we have a trojan dropper pc clear P okay what else do we have pc clear another uh trojan fake alert fake alert downloader fake alert so there's definitely a lot of things in here so we're going to remove these and uh then i'm going to uh I'm going to run, uh, I forgot to run CCleaner, but I'll do that now, no big deal. And then I'll run Hitman Pro, so I'll be back after Hitman Pro runs. Alright, so Hitman Pro finished uh, scanning. As you can see, there's still some things left on there. Uh, and the funny thing is, there's some still things left on there that A Squared can find, which is the same engine that uh, A Shampoo uses. But A Shampoo, I think, uses an old engine compared to what the new A Squared uses. But it found uh, a Trojan and a couple more Trojans. So there you go. At this point in time, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend a shampoo mainly because it doesn't have any zero day protection. If it does, it's very low. Um, there's better suites out there. So that's it for this review. Everybody take care.